Tonight's crisis in the classroom. Law enforcement agencies in Baldwin County are taking advantage of summer break to get school resource officers trained. Training that's always ongoing, but this summer officers have the mass shooting, school shooting in Uvalde, Texas on their minds. And with more parents anxious about campus safety, Spanish Fort Police say they'll be holding a meeting to go over how they're keeping kids safe. Two weeks ago, Spanish Fort Police simulated active shooter scenarios at Rockwell Elementary School. Back at headquarters, they were able to monitor what was happening in the drills because this past school year, they gained access to security cameras on campuses. We can pull up live the school and the entire school. Should we ever have an incident, it would give us the ability to provide our officers up-to-date information on where that person might be. These safety measures and others, including active shooter training with teachers, will be discussed in a public meeting two weeks from tonight. <laughs> Chief John Barber says they want to address uneasy parents, inform them what's being done to secure campuses, and listen to concerns they may have. We see all the social media posts for the parents that are very concerned about the incident happening in Uvalde, Texas. Sometimes you can learn something that you might not have thought about, and we can take that and make adjustments as well. Barber says what some parents don't understand is that in Baldwin County, school resource officers are provided by police departments in the sheriff's office. There is an armed law enforcement officer at each school full time. Some have two. This upcoming school year, the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office will be providing 14 deputies to the schools. We have a high standard of training with the sheriff's department and the men and women that are assigned to the school resource officer program, they actually exceed that training. They get they get a training that a lot of the line deputies may not have the opportunity to get on a more regular basis. I think for two out of the four of my SROs are SWAT certified. You know, again, these are not just security guards. These are highly trained police officers that are in the schools that we're preparing for hopefully the worst day that never comes in this community. The school safety meeting will be two weeks from tonight at Spanish Fort City Hall at 6 o'clock. NBC 15 News is dedicated to investigating issues that matter to you and your family. We want you to send us tips or alert us to problems you're seeing in our schools, from in-school learning to behavioral problems to infrastructure issues. Give us a call at our Crisis in the Classroom tip line. It's right there on your screen, 251-652-1549.